read an interview in which you you talk about how hard this last album was for you to write, and um, it's such an yeah. inspiring it's an inspiring story. And um, I'm I'm very sorry that you had to go through that, but I'm I'm curious. Well, was thank your, you. Yeah, of course. Uh, was your was your faith though shaken initially with that tragedy, no. or and then strengthened later? No. No. No, not at all. I mean, you know, I don't. That's the one thing that I tell people is I don't understand why you would let the hardships of this world uh, shake your foundation or your faith. I mean, you know, I mean, we live and we die. I mean, you know, we all kind of. It, it, it's very common for us to all kind of live like nothing's ever going to go wrong, but then when it does, we're shocked. You know, I mean. If you look in a newspaper, people are dying every day. I mean, it's going to happen. I mean, it's just part of life. And, I mean, life is full of hardships. And as a Christian, you know, I I believe with all my heart that, you know, Jesus came to to give us salvation and to give us hope uh, after this life is over because, you know, we're very spoiled here the good old U.S. of A. And there are people that have that do endure hardships here in this country, but not it's not comparable to what you see people in these third world countries and what they go through. I mean, you know, you can be dirt poor in America and still you can find a way. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can find a way to get some fresh water. Mm -hmm. I mean, whether that's going to the side of a filling station and turning on the sprocket. I mean, there's, there's, we are just, we are, we are just so much more civilized that, that there are so many more options. But, you know, it didn't shake my faith at all. I mean, if anything, I think it really strengthened it because I witnessed a lot of things through our hardship where I saw, you know, the grace of God and Him helping me and my family get through a tough ordeal with such peacefulness. I mean, it wasn't easy, and I don't ever want to have to go through that again, but I may have to. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it just, you never know. I mean, it's, you know, at the same time we were going through that, my mom uh, was diagnosed with cancer. Um, You know, and it was just, it's life, though. I mean, it's just part of the deal, and uh, that's the reason why God sent his son. Mm-hmm. And, uh, y- you know, you can't – I think it's unfair, and I think I – don't, I don't know how to put it, but when something bad happens to you, to think that God is, right. uh, you know, punishing you, nah, it's just life. Mm-hmm. I mean, if if you look at – if you look at the – watch the news. Most mm-hmm. bad things that are happening is because of man. Yeah. You know, it's it's <laughs> don't blame God. You know, we're the ones that we you know, man's pretty notorious for messing up a good thing. Yeah. But uh yeah. it's it's and, and you know, it's it's one of those things too, you know, a lot of beautiful things came from our our daughter, Julia. I mean, I I'm a better dad and a better husband and mm-hmm. it, it was a beautiful moment. I mean I, I can't you know I think that's hard for people to understand if I say that losing my daughter was one of the most precious moments of my life. I mean, that was, I'll never forget it. I'll cherish it till the day I die. And I think about it like every second of every day. I mean, you know, I, I we should be having her, um, you know, her second birthday here in a couple of months. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I mean, every time I see a family, you know, of four at the mall or the store, or, you know, I, you know, yeah, every time I, my little girl talks, my little girl is all the time, and and now it's to the age that she says some things that are just, you know, precious but completely heartbreaking for me to hear. Like, you know, she wants to know if I will take her to heaven so that she can play with her sister. And you know, you hear these things, and you're just oh. like, oh my goodness. But it's precious, <laughs> and um, it and and that's that gives me that much more of a reason to, you know, to continue picking myself up off the ground when I get knocked down and staying focused on God and and 
you know, in my family because I want to see her again someday. 